everybody, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, I guess, if um, you're coming from Lucas's channel. So today I'm going to be filming a plan with me, and I'm going to be collabing with Lucas, who is also known as Planner Boy Jams on Instagram, and I'm so excited. Um, Lucas is one of my best friends, and we are definitely planner friends, so we looked at the different kits that we were using, and we're both using this um, Scooby-Doo clip art in um, October, so we just chose a week, and we are going to collab. So we have a bunch of questions to answer, and I'm so excited. So I'm going to start by whiting everything out. Um, I guess I should actually show you this kit first. Um, so this is the Station Stickers version. It is the Mystery Machine. So it does come with these foiled icons, and this kit is foiled in hollow. I did buy the add-on of the um, the hollow glitter headers, and then I'll show you the kit. So this is the first page, and you do get um, washi for if you're using this in a um, like a personal size planner. And these are the full boxes. This is the washi page. This is out of order because I was kind of freaking out, but my friend Shelby helped me um, trying to figure out like work labels and stuff. Um, and then this is the little things page, the headers. Now I've never used a station stickers kit before and I'm very nervous. I feel like I'm gonna have to pull in a lot of stuff because I am used to the Scribble Prince Co. kits. Those are my favorite. Um, so we're, we're gonna just roll with this. Um, this is the glitter header. So you do get glitter headers in the kit, but I noticed that she was selling them with the foil on them already. And so I just picked up the add-on, so I have these extra ones. And then these are the ombre heart check boxes. So a very different kit format um, compared to what I'm used to. But we're just gonna we're gonna roll with it. This does come with date covers. Okay, cool. Awesome. Sorry that my board is like dirty if you can see that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start whiting things out. I'm gonna white out the bottom and also the top. So I guess I should grab my date dots. Sorry, I'm a little bit of a mess. If you haven't watched my videos before, um, I am a mess, but it's okay. We all are definitely like a little bit of a mess sometimes. So I'm going to grab my date dots out. I'm going to grab some hollow ones. And do I have the numbers that I need? I do. Those are from Sticky Essentials. And she does not do foil anymore as of right now. She is playing around with possibly doing foil again, but um, there are other shops that sell hollow. So I'm going to put these on really quick, and I do have some tweezers, just so I don't forget because I'm going to be talking and whiting all this out at the same time. So we asked for questions on both of our Instagrams and kind of just um, like put them all together. Just general questions, not like Halloween specific or any of that, like just any time kind of questions that you were just curious for either of us um, to answer, we're both going to like answer most of them. So the first one is your favorite Halloween tradition. Um, this was kind of like, I don't know, like kind of difficult at first because most of the time I don't do much for Halloween. Um, maybe I'll dress up like a little bit, but it's normally like things that I already own. So like last year I just wore my cheer uniform that I had for my school. Um, and like this year, I'm going to wear my sloth onesie to work. Um, but I guess one of my new favorite tra traditions has been to dress Noelle up. Noelle is my beagle, and I love her dearly. She is so amazing and so cute. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get to dress her up this year just because she's she might still have her cone on. But um, yeah, that's been like one of my new favorite traditions. Um, the next one is favorite Halloween and movie, and this is very hard because I love scary movies so much. Like, they're my favorite type of movies, I think. So, I think Halloween is actually my favorite movie. Um, and I'm so excited because I am going to see the new Halloween movie on Saturday with my mom and dad. I'm so excited. But I love, like, all of the different, like, scary movies. Um, as well as like Halloween Town. Um, I watched Hocus Pocus for the first time the other week um, and that was really good. But really just like any scary movies um, are my favorite. 
Um, <laughs> a couple of these are like teacher oriented and um, that's because Lucas is going to be a teacher. Um, it's funny because I'm actually, um, that's actually the career choice for myself as well, but um, I'm not in school right now, so I'm going to skip a couple of them. Um, and one of them, um, someone asked what their fa what Lucas's favorite thing was about me, so I'm going to answer what my favorite thing is about Lucas. Um, so my favorite thing about Lucas is how caring and passionate he is. Lucas is just like with everything. He doesn't um, have to do anything. He puts his all in everything and it's so inspiring. And like, I don't know, Lucas just brings so much joy into my life and I'm so like happy that I met him in this community. Like, a little sappy right there, but Lucas is just like amazing. He's such a great person. Um, and oh, also like he stands up for what he believes in. Um, which again like I mean that's something that everybody should do but just like he does it in such a good way and I love it so much um the next one is if you could design a sticker kit what would it look like mine would probably be sloths but um if I could like have a custom kit commissioned it would be um I mean this is obviously like my boyfriend is in the military <laughs> and we're not engaged we probably won't be engaged like anytime soon but um I <laughs> would like like a wedding kit like if we were to get married like a military wedding kit I think that'd be like really cool um so okay so these are all the washies that I brought out that I thought would go with this um the bottom washi in this in this kit is like really basic but um like I don't know I brought out the Scrubber Prince Co one but it doesn't have hollow so and the blue isn't like spot on so maybe not that one um I don't know why I brought that the yellow, <laughs> but like this blue I might use in my sidebar. Um, and then I do have the hollow bows. These were released in the last of like gilded release. And I thought, I mean, obviously these have hollow, so they would be like really good. Um, I don't know. I feel like I might use, because I feel like the black, there's no like actual black in this kit. So maybe I'll use the white with hollow. Um, I brought this, but then again, I'm also... Like, one, there's no, like, actual black in this kit besides, like, the paw prints right there. And then, also, it's not hollow. So, I guess I just, like, figured out what I'm going to do. Um, so, I'm going to put this bow right here. I love hollow so much. It's, it's up there with rose gold for me. I think it's rose gold, hollow, and then silver and gold. Like, not silver, then gold, but just, like, silver and gold in general together. Those aren't like my absolute favorite. Um, uh, what's your favorite functional sticker and foiled sticker? So my favorite functional stickers, um, I think, oops, sorry. Um, probably work stickers or like squared off half boxes. Those are definitely like, I think my, my favorite. And then foiled stickers, um, that's kind of hard. I really like overlays just because overlays are so like universal. You can turn any kit or any item into a foiled item with an overlay and it doesn't distract, distract from the, um, the sticker itself. So I think the, that's my answer for those. Is that crooked? So hard to tell with like white. Um, the next one is a Spice Girl question. Honestly, I don't know the Spice Girls, so I'm sorry. So, um, definitely, like, you'll have to watch Lucas's for that one. Just asking, like, which Spice Girl would you be? And, like, I don't know the Spice Girls, so <laughs> sorry. Um, and then tips for starting a YouTube channel. Um, Lucas and I are both fairly new to the, um, the YouTube world, I feel like. Um, a long time ago, I used to film, like, beauty videos, but, like... Those are awful, so I, like, took them down. <laughs> um, but definitely just, like, being yourself. Um, if it's for, like, lighting and stuff, um, I do think that lighting is, like, important. Um, I don't really know. I can make, like, a whole video, but I'd have to, like, prepare better for it, I guess. Um, but really just, like, staying true to yourself. Um, I feel like those videos are the best to watch or, like, when someone is, like, very genuine. Okay, so I'm trying this thing that Jasenia 
does, who's the planner sophisticate. Um, I just don't know where I'm supposed to line it up. Am I supposed to do it like here and just make sure that it's straight? Maybe, we're gonna try this. Might be a fail. Um, what is your all-time favorite kit? One from Scroll Prince Co. and one from another shop. So, my all-time favorite kit from Scribble Prince Co. I think would have to be the SPC Brunch kit. Um, just because that's like a kit you can use like anytime. And I have used it more than once. Okay, this is not turning out really good. Uh-oh. I'm going to bring out my undo because this is not turning great. So, Emily cannot do this method. Um, and then my favorite kit from another shop would have to be the Glam Planner Sleepy Kit. Um, which has a sloth in it, so that is why. Um, but yeah, basically, um, I love sloths, and that kit has it, and I'm gonna save that until, um, like, I have two of them that I was gifted from some friends, and I'm gonna save those forever. Um, I really wanna use it actually for, like, if I have a girl. Like the, the week that she's born, I feel like that would be really cute. Um, does this kit not have those flags are tiny? Well, I guess we're white and this one out. Um, but yeah, um, that's definitely like my favorite kit from another shop. Sorry, this is like kind of hard to like answer questions. I forgot how hard this was. Um, if you hear my dog snoring, I'm sorry. Um, what is the next question? What were your childhood hobbies and do you still do them? Um, it's actually really funny. Um, one of my childhood hobbies was using stickers. So I definitely like still do that, which is kind of funny. Um, I also liked baking, which I still bake a little bit. Painting, which I don't paint as much now, but I do still paint. And then what else did I like doing as a kid? I mean, I liked sleeping. So I definitely like still do that quite a bit, as much as possible. Um, how did you get into the Erin Condren planner world? So I discovered Erin Condren from Kirsten, who is Kirsten Plans. Um, she kind of brought me into like the planner and sticker world. She used a plum paper planner though, but um, like I watched her videos and I realized that planning with stickers was a thing and then I started seeing like ads on Facebook because you know like when you look up one thing somewhere Facebook knows it all and um, it was for Erin Condren and I was like well this is expensive but I kind of want to like try this out because I've always liked planners and so I saved up my babysitting money and I got my first Erin Condren um, and I've stuck with Erin Condren ever since. And I actually worked at Erin Condren. I opened, I helped to open up the flagship store in Austin, Texas. So that's pretty neat. Um, I do love my Erin Condren planner. I do use other planners um, with, like along with this. Like this isn't the only one that I use, but I do think that it's just a classic planner. Um, if money and weather were no object, um, where would you like to travel or visit? Um, I'd love to go back to Germany. I was born in Germany. I'd love to go back there, but it is expensive to get back overseas. Um, I also like really want to go to like Hawaii. <laughs> Never been. Um, that was always on our like list as a family, like trying to move to. But yeah, I think those two places. Um, what is your favorite functional sticker shop? Um, probably Scribble Prints Co. <laughs> I'm biased though because I do work there. Um, this is what we look like so far. That's cute. That's cute. I like it. Um, I'm trying to like <laughs> do this. I can't like multitask. Um, what have you found works best for planning in school, planner wise and sticker wise? So I use my Erin Condren in school. I did use a what am I looking for? An academic when I was like I used an academic and this one because I wanted to have a full detail of all of my assignments in one place. So um, I did use that and my Erin Condren. 
but I do think that the Erin Condren has enough space to where you can put like your assignments and your life stuff. Um, and I, I would say that the vertical is best for that because you could have like a school box and then two other boxes like a today section and like a little things or like a place to put your decorative box. Um, and then sticker wise, um, just like checklist really and then I would use like special boxes to mark off tests with like a cute emoji or something just to like make that test fun, you know? And... Favorite snack, favorite drink in fall, and then a favorite comfort movie or show. Um, my favorite snack would have to be, I think, pretzels. Like the little pretzel chips. I really like those. Um, I could eat like a whole bag, and I do eat like a whole bag whenever I eat those. Um, and then my favorite drink in fall. Um, I'm not a pumpkin spice person, like whatsoever. So I pretty much drink the normal things in fall. So like Dr. Pepper. That's my favorite drink, I think. Um, maybe the silver in the middle. Do that. And then, um, my favorite comfort movie or TV show, um, probably like The Office or Parks and Rec. I feel like you can like watch those from like any standpoint and it's like a good time. Um, or like, like I said, like I love scary movies, so like any scary movie I'm fine with. Um, 50 First Dates, that is, I think, my all-time favorite movie, like, of all time. All-time a favorite movie of all time, that makes sense. Um, also Elf. <laughs> I've watched Elf two times so far, um, and, I mean, it was because I was working on Advent, and so I felt like an elf, so I watched that, but that's definitely, like, one of my favorite movies, too. Um, are you kit or sticker hoarders? And what, if so, like what kits or stickers are you hoarding forever? This kind of goes back to that glam planner kit that I was talking about. I have one that I might let myself use, like I said, if I have a baby girl someday. But um, one to hoard forever because she hasn't brought it back. Um, which is like kind of sad <laughs> for me. Um, but like other than that, um, oh, this is fun. Okay. Um, my sloth emojis from Coffee Monsters Co. I have a ton of those, um, so I definitely have, like, enough so where I can hoard those, and, like, I just, I love those so much. So those were all the questions. Sorry I, like, answered those, like, kind of quickly. I'm not good at multitasking, um, like, answering questions. Okay, this is gonna be annoying. Oh, gosh. But, yeah, I'm not good at, like, multitasking with questions because I get, like, super off track. And I'm like not laying down any stickers when I do it. Um, so for my quote box, I think I'm gonna put Scooby. Okay, so it looks like all of these are not cut that great. That's awesome. Sorry, I, I try not to speak negative or anything on my channel, but that is kind of very annoying. Um, let's do the moon. Okay, this one's fine. That's refreshing. Um, yeah, I guess I can talk about, I have like a couple minutes. Um, this past week, I worked a bunch, and I, what else did I do? That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I just like worked a bunch, and that was really fun. I'm um, happy to be able to work a bunch again, because I'm feeling much better. Um, the weather got really nice for a second, um, which was amazing, and then of course now it's like 80 or 90 again, and I'm like, what? But on Monday, I guess it's supposed to be like in the 30s or something? I don't know, but I'm like super excited for that. Like, I live for cold weather. I definitely do not belong in Texas. Um, Texas is like fine besides the weather, honestly. I just, I don't like hot weather. So, um, just really is not the place for me. Oh, I also got my nails done, which, um, I wasn't going to say you'd see in my haul video, but I think I'm going to put my haul video up on, like, Wednesday or something. So you won't actually see that. Um, I'm not a green fan, so I'm not going to use the green. I feel like these aren't as reflective as I would like, but that is okay. 
we're gonna have a bunch of hollow up in here this like page down here is so thin from me like ripping up I, I, I mean I don't think people have had to use like undo when they do that method but maybe I'm like wrong and I just <laughs> was being oblivious to it I don't really know um, I do like how this is turning out though Scooby was actually um, one of my favorite shows when I was growing up I had this like three foot um, big like Scooby-Doo that I like loved and it got lost somewhere in a move um, which is like kind of sad but I love Scooby-Doo um, like the original ones like the first two original ones I feel like I liked a lot um, and then they just they kind of like started like not adding as much detail to their face and it just like started looking like really weird and I was just like uncomfortable with it <laughs> Okay, so that is my base down. That's super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and flip to the sidebar. And I need to figure out what I'm going to do about this flag situation because the kit comes with like a couple flags, I think. But um, like the ones that are like sparkly don't fit this size. And then the other ones, I don't even know if those would fit. They look like they do, but they're not like really cute. They're like basic. I have these from Simply Watercolor Co. And I guess I could use like, do these fit? I haven't even tested out if these fit. Looks like it fits. I don't know if I love that though. Like maybe a different one. And then I could put like an overlay on it. Let's try. I have like a bunch of these Tombow whiteouts and like this one is, okay, that one's gone. <laughs> that one was like one of the small pack ones, like it was a smaller size. Um, oh, if you're wondering, if you watched my plan with me for last week, I was like an absolute mess because I wasn't liking how it was turning out. Um, but I did go into work and bring my planner and asked Andrea um, for advice and we ended up like figuring it out. Um, I will show you. So like I put these star header overlays on them instead and then like the bottom washi I just like kind of left the same. So yeah. Um, do I like that? I think that's kind of cute. Um, and then I just need to find a bow to put on top of it. So, I'm going to do a Squirrel Prince Kobo, and it's not hollow, but that is okay with me. That's cute. That'll have to work. Um, so, let's do the sidebar. I didn't even like, I was stressing honestly about the work headers. Um, for this kit the most that I didn't even like look to see if everything I need for a sidebar is in this kit So kind of nervous um, Okay, so there's that that and that I guess everything's here um, So I like to start off with my habit trackers And so I'm gonna do this one first Yeah, I'm just like this is my actual like my first time using a non scribble prints code kit in this planner so it's just kind of weird I'm so used to the format of scribble prints co so I don't know I miss it but we didn't do this art so am I gonna like this actually I don't know if I like that I mean it matches the boxes but it's not really anywhere else in the kit so Maybe I'll just like, just use like a little bit of white space in between, like that. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Um, and then I do a me time. Ooh, what is this gonna be? Um, I'm gonna take this washi right here and I'm gonna put this on my sidebar because it's foiled and I'm gonna use this to put down my me time script and 
I guess this, like, this is the glossy paper, by the way. I guess this, like, paper is, like, super sticky and will, like, tear up your, your paper really easily. So I, I would definitely, like, be careful. <laughs> um, and again, I need to get a Me Time script out. So let me get one of those out if I can find it. Ah, here it is. There's that. And I know I'm going to need this out, so I'll pull that out too. Awesome. Oop. So these are in silver, which um, like I don't mind mixing silver and hollow because they both have like a base of like silver. So that is so cute. I love that. Um, and then I'm going to put this weekly ombre down here. I've been so bad, honestly, about like using my sidebar um, and using my planner in general, but um, I'm going to get back on it. And like I need to make sure that I'm doing me time things because um, it's very very important that is for sure and you definitely notice when you're not doing it anymore like it, it'll take a toll on you and you just kind of like realize once it's too late um, I don't have any orange in the sidebar yet so I guess I'll do it this week I don't know if I like love this font I feel like I'm being so picky I'm sorry guys um, I have this, um, which is from Rose Color Days, and there's a This Week right here, so maybe I will use this washi again, and just like cut another strip of it. This is kind of like my goals, or like, I don't know, just general like This Week, like to-dos or any of that. I think I used the this week in my last hollow spread, which was actually like two weeks ago. I haven't done gold in a second, but I think I'm doing gold next week. I am not 100% sure of what kit I want to use next week because I really want to use Hocus Pocus, but I also really love the Jacqueline kit, and my nails match the Jacqueline kit perfectly. If you like couldn't tell, I think so. So um, I might use the Jacqueline kit next week, and I also bought like from the sticky committee um, some like blood overlays just for that kit so I feel like I need to use that that is so pretty I love that I love that and let's do an orange just because there's no orange here and I am gonna have to white out because I can see these lines for some reason with the orange and it is Sunday when I'm filming this and I am gonna get this up tomorrow so Excited about that. I am going into work a little bit later today um, to finish up working on orders. Um, we're working on the magic release right now, and it's crazy, y'all. Like, it's a lot. A ton of mail bins. Like, definitely make sure you follow Scuba Prince Co. Um, to see some behind the scenes of how many mail bins because it's it's wild. So that is my sidebar. I really like that. So now is the very nerve-wracking part of this video for me. Um, I'm, I'm really nervous about this. It's my work labels. Um, I talked with my friend Shelby about this um, because this kit does not come with work labels. It doesn't come with a lot of like functional things that I normally use. So um, as of right now, I'm going to work six days, but I don't know which weekend day I'm going to work or if I'm going to work like both weekend days. So what I'm gonna do is like put down just like my Monday through Friday and then I'll put the weekend ones there like when the weekend happens so I know for sure. That way I don't have to stress out even more about it and I'll probably know closer to the weekend so I can undo um, if I need to any of like if I need to move this to like do a different pattern or any of that I can do that. Um, okay, so I'm thinking that this blue, the blue isn't like spot on. There's not that much blue in the kit though. 
There's gray though, so I can use these two gray ones. Um, this was from the Wizard Birthday Kit, and I just noticed that those colors matched really good, so I just took that sheet. Um, so I guess I like kind of screwed myself for when I use that kit, but um, that's for future Emily to worry about, not current Emily. Oh, what am I doing? Did anybody else like see that and think like, Emily, what are you doing? Um, I'm probably going to work Saturday actually. So let's just, let's just put that down. Um, and then, I mean, this color right here, like kind of goes, let's just do it. Um, it's so funny. I said that I wasn't going to put down all of these, but I'm going to just put them down for the weekend and then I can always undo them if I don't end up working the weekend, like working both of those days. But most of the time I still like go into work, even if it's just for a couple hours like today. Um, and then the last one, now I'll use this orange color. That's pretty close. Cool. Awesome. That wasn't as stressful as I thought. Um, thanks Shelby, if you're watching this. <laughs> um, so I guess I can get into the day by day plans. So on Monday, I actually have plans. Um, but first I have some TV shows. I'm actually, maybe I should just put my TV shows down now. So Mondays I have two TV shows which are The Good Doctor and 911, which I am up to date on both of those shows and really, really love them. Um, and I do leave like a little bit of like white space in between. Um, I'm not a white space planner though. If you guys like are new, yeah, I'm not a white space planner. Um, I don't like writing on the page. Um, so t Tuesday, I don't have any TV shows. Wednesday, I have four, five, five, five. Um, but I do use, um, I have from the Planner-esque, these um, stickers right here, and these are for American Horror Story. Um, can I use the purple, maybe? I feel like the purple is pretty good. Um, or actually even the green. I feel like I'd never use those green, so let's put that down and then just stack up the rest of these. I feel like I actually am gonna like run out of TV shows. Icons, um, I feel like I might. We'll see, I'm not really good at, I don't really feel like doing the math on it right now. Um, and so it's American Horror Story, Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, Chicago Med, and then also, what is the other show? A Million Little Things. And I'm actually not up to date on any of these shows that are that premiere on Wednesday besides American Horror Story, um, <laughs> which is like kind of sad. I'm gonna quickly go over to the other side to do these as well. And yeah, I'm one TV short because on Thursdays I have now I have Supernatural, Grey's Anatomy, and um, Law and Order Special Victims Unit. So. Is that orange too bright? Yeah, let's do this orange right here for Grey's Anatomy. And then I'll do this like purple one for another TV show. And then, I mean, I guess I just have to use an asterisk for my third one. So I'll use this green one. Okay, let me put that down straight. And I do watch the Purge TV show, but I watch that like online. So I don't know when it actually like airs. I think it like I watch it online like the next day. I don't really know. Okay. So on Monday I am going to um a comedy show, which is the same one that I went to I think two weeks ago. Um, and I'm going with Kat and um, a couple other coworkers, so I'm super excited about it. Um, I haven't, I don't know if I'm gonna like use any of these. I feel like I should because they come in the kit, but like, I don't know if any of these like work. 
I don't see any of them like working, but I feel like a comedy show is like pretty like difficult to mark. I could use a movie marquee, but I am going to see a movie this week, so I can't actually use that. So let's pull out a, let's do, ooh. I kind of want to use a square off half box. So I'm going to go into my multicolor binder, which is massive and super heavy. And let's do this gray one. I'm going to put that like really close up there just because that's crooked, <laughs> which I was going for, but I think it's the glitter header that's crooked. Yeah, the glitter header is crooked. Everything's crooked. And then we are going to ice cream after that. So I need something to mark ice cream. I think we get like some little tiny quarter boxes in the kit. So I could use one of those. I'll probably use a green one. And that fits like pretty good right there. Um, so I need to figure out what I want to use to mark the comedy show, which is like a forever, even though this is like the second time we're going, it's like a forever struggle for me to figure out what to use to mark that. Um, I feel like it's just like an odd like thing that nobody makes stickers for. Oop. Sorry, I bumped you guys. I don't know if you might include that, but I bumped you guys. Um, so I have my emoji binder here, and I'm gonna grab this ice cream sticker just because it is at the front, and put that down. And plus, like, it's so much easier because I already know what sticker I'm using for that. Um, if any, like, if you guys know um, of anybody that makes like comedy show kind of ones, like, let me know. I think I'm gonna use this emoji head, and then maybe I'll grab a bow because when in doubt grab a bow Oops. so I'm taking a another Scribble Prince Co kit um, I feel like my most used shops are Scribble Prince Co and Coffee Monsters Co um, if you couldn't tell. Um, so that bow is crooked, but again, I was going for that. Um, so that is it for Monday. And then I don't think that I have anything for the other days of the week, but I did just realize that I could put my emojis in my sidebar. Sorry, I'm like all over the place, you guys. So, um, I'm gonna use this smiley one and this one right here, this like side eye one. It's kind of big. It's because I normally put a strip of washi in between. But that's okay. And that's for marking my good mood and my nightmares. <laughs> so I think that's it for this half of the week. And then this half, um, on Thursday, I do have therapy. So I think I'm gonna use another one of these squared off half boxes. I was gonna use the orange, but the orange is already right there. What do I want to do? Oh, that messes me up. I think I have more of these, let's look. <laughs> I mean, of course, I have more of them. I also have the glitter ones. I could use the glitter. Um, like the glitter gray. I like that. That's cute. So I'll do that for therapy. And I do have therapy scripts and stickers. So I have some... Therapy scripts, which these are custom, just like the me time ones, those are both custom. 
um, from Sticky Soft Designs. And I could just write like therapy, but I also have really cute emojis that I love so much. And they look like this. And I love these so much. I love Helen. Helen is amazing. Um, and what did I do last time? I think I did like this. No, I didn't do that. Such a struggle. What did I do? Ooh, I know what I can do. I can put this down here, like in the middle, like that, and then put this script like that. That's cute. Let's put that down straight. Oh yeah, that's cute. I like that because I, I always go at the same time, so I kind of know. Um, I love that. That's so cute. And then Friday is payday. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think. I don't have a payday sticker. Um, I mean, I don't think so. She has one in here, but it's not like my style. Um, okay, I have this one from Rose Color Days, and I kind of want to take a shirt, like some of that washi. So let me grab a page that has the washi on it. And I'm using like the foiled washi just because I like that like better. I know you get two strips of it. Oh, I actually also have like the bottom washi that I can use. Boop. So there's that. And like I said, I normally use a different payday sticker, but this one's hollow, so I will accept it into my life. And it's beautiful. And that's from Rose Color Days. It's from the big sampler that I've been using. And then Friday, um, normally in my planner I don't mark bills due anymore, but um, Friday is very special because I'm going to be paying my mom for our hotel in Vegas, and I'm so excited. I am going to Vegas for my 21st birthday next year. And I am just beyond pumped. And I have um, Vegas stickers. So, I mean, obviously, like, I'm going to jump to use those. Let me pull those out. Um, so, I think, oh my gosh, what if I use this one? like Magic Mike one because we're not going to go to Magic Mike because I'm going with my mom and dad and my older brother. So yeah, definitely not going to Magic Mike. But um, I am paying her for um, the hotel on this day. So I definitely want to like mark that because that is special. And it's like when she booked it, it was like super official. I was like, yes, we're going. So I just want to make sure that I pay her for that. I am actually looking into a lot of different um, travel things for next year. Um, looking to go to Disney in February with one of my friends, Shelby, and then also Disney in fall with my parents. So yeah, I'm super excited. And then maybe like New Orleans or something, like once I turn 21, going like on a friend's trip. I'm just trying to travel because I used to travel all the time when I was young and now I don't. So yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, like if I can travel, why shouldn't I? You know, like if I can do it, then I should do it, you know? Does that make sense? Um, I, this weekend, this um, kit comes with a weekend banner, but let me show you it. I feel like I'm like not using the kit. And I'm sorry if that like offends any of you guys. I just, I mean, I have stickers to pull in. Um, like the weekend banner is like, it's cute, but I also just really like foil. So this is from Rose Color Days. This is like a sparkly hollow foil. And I'm gonna put this here. I was actually talking to Kat. I was like, I don't know why I use weekend like stickers because I don't take the weekend off. Like, I use them because they're cute, and that's literally, like, the only reason which I find is, like, so funny. Um, is that everything? No, 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 no. 
on Saturday I'm going to see the Halloween I'm going to see the Halloween movie which I'm so excited about and um, I mean, if you couldn't tell by like my voice I'm like absolutely pumped I am so excited ready for this I've been waiting so um, the showing is at 540 so I'm probably gonna put it down here I say probably while I'm putting it down and I'm gonna use this washi Hey, I like lose that ruler because it's clear oh and I found the other strip of washi it's because I put the ombre box to the side I'm a mess you guys and my desk is small so I don't know how I make like such a mess so quick but I do Oop, please don't like do that and probably gonna go to like dinner or something because we're going to see it at the mall so I'll probably go to dinner and I can put that like maybe like after or something is that gonna be enough I think that's fine I don't know if I love this movie marquee. So I brought out this. This is a, um, a sticker album book thing from Amazon. And I put my stickers in here that um, I want to like save. And I think that I have like some options here. Um, I feel like this one right here could work. Or this one could work. I might use this one. Because I did already use like from the Rose Color Day samplers. I did already use both of those. Um, movie marquees because I watched a lot of movies last week <laughs> or that week that I planned that um, I think that's cute and I'm gonna look I have some Halloween stickers and I can't remember if um, Michael Myers is on there so let me let me look use that just by itself just because um, I can't seem to find any stickers that would go I mean that's fine I am just going to leave that right there like that um, for going and seeing Halloween. So now I think that is everything. So let me open this up for you guys. Okay, so that looks like it's going to be everything. Let me give you a little wiggle. And I'm not doing any foil overlays this week because this is a foiled kit. Um, but yeah, I also normally film... Um, me like filling this out on camera and like fast forward through it but my like fast forward has been acting really strange on my computer for some reason so I'm gonna leave it at this if you guys want to see what this ends up looking like um, at the end of the week then definitely follow my Instagram that is linked down below and also make sure you check out Lucas's plan with me I'm so excited and so glad that we got to collab so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye